quickly we'll be going through this paper um, this has to do with um, and the IGCSE um, biology biology chapter one chapter one um, past paper um, past paper um, usually um, paper two um, for extended student so we're just going to have a very quick walk through uh, first and uh, we have 45 questions here so the first question is the diagram shows an anthropod and um, to which group does it belong to um, this particular anthropod because anthropods are classified into four which are called the kami crustaceans arachnids um, mariapods and insects um, so uh, there is no analytes in terms of anthropods so this is actually an arachnid uh, because it has jointed legs and the body is divided into two parts number two is worms come from worms come to the soil surface after heavy rainfall uh, which characteristics is this um, what this simply signifies that the worms are actually sensitive sensitive to water so that's actually sensitivity and the next question here is um, uh, which animal is not an anthropod in this list um, what one thing you need to look at is uh, anthropos like I said yeah the uh, kami um, crustaceans uh, arachnids these are arachnids um, these are mariapods these are insects there are no crustaceans here and this is actually not an anthropod so the answer to that question is B now the, set, uh, the diagram shows a sea lion uh, which label future shows that this animal is a mammal and the answer to this question is that it has you know most mammals have um, should have hair or four so uh, the only thing similar is the whiskers and um, classify uh, what makes the sea lion to be classified as mammals now here is using a dichotomous key to identify this so the diagram shows an animal found in fresh water now use the key use the key to identify the animal body divided into segments the body is not divided into segments so we are not going to two body um, not divided into segment go to three so body is not divided into segments so I will now move to number three has a shell it doesn't have a shell has no shell so my answer is D it has no shell now um, this is the diagram shows a plant at the start of an experiment and uh, the same plant two days later um, so in two days later you find out that the shoot of the plant is now growing towards the direction in which the light is coming from so that means this plant is quite sensitive to light so uh, which characteristics of organism demonstrate this experiment is sensitivity and that's phototropism now an animal can swim has a backbone suckle youngs and breathe air uh, to which group um, can we classify this uh, does it belong to you say it can swim has a backbone suckle young and breathe air now um, there are two here that is quite similar but you shouldn't get confused um, mammals don't uh, based on this classification don't swim uh, because they cannot survive in water um, reptiles you know uh, fish and do swim and it's also a vertebrate but however the young doesn't suckle this young outside amphibians amphibians also breathe air and they can also live in water so the answer there is a now what is the future of both insect and arachnids 
feature of both insect and arachnids is that both of them are anthropods and anthropods all have exoskeleton. Now the diagram shows an amoeba, a single cell living organism. Now they say the movement of gases at X indicates the occurrence of which process or processes in a cell. Now this is oxygen diffuses in for oxygen to go in, that's uh, respiration. In terms of gas exchange, the oxygen will now be react to the food molecule for excretion to take place. So the carbon dioxide coming out is excretion. So uh, the characteristics there for number nine should be excretion and respiration, which is B, represent excretion and respiration. Now, which characteristics which are characteristics of insects? Uh, all insects, do all insects have um, six legs? Yeah, that's why they are anthropods. They have six legs. Um, body divided into two, no. It's only uh, some and others' body are divided into three. Now, a student observes a vertebrate swimming in a pond and the animal's surface uh, was smooth and hairless. A vertebrate swimming in a pond and, and the surface was smooth and hairless. It used its four legs to swim. At interval, the animal come to the surface to uh, take a mouthful of air, to which that's amphibians. Now, the picture shows an animal. What is the name of this animal according to the binomial system. Remember, by means the two part name of an organism. So I think this is cactus, is one. This is, no, then the answer is quite obvious. Um, C, Pantara Leo. Now, what is respiration? Respiration is the chemical reaction in cell uh, that uses oxygen to break down food to release energy. So your answer is C. Now, a living organism X can make its own food, gets, makes its own food, get rid of toxic material and detect and respond to stimuli. Um, so first, make its own food, that's nutrition. Get rid of toxic material, that's excretion. Detect response, detect and respond, that's sensitivity. Now, uh, once it detects its response, uh, you expect that uh, this can also represent a movement, a response, so it will move in response to the stimuli. So, they say which four characteristics? So, I have excretion, I have growth here, no, I have growth, growth, so I know this two is off growth. Um, I think that, um, let me see, make his own food, get rid of toxic material. Um, and detect and respond to stimuli. Um, what order? Sorry, I didn't see this. What order? So, obviously, we have nutrition. So, let's see. Sensitivity is here. So, this is wrong. Sensitivity is here. So, A and uh, D is wrong. Nutrition is here. So, B is wrong. So, my answer should be C. Now, which group of organism has the following features? Three pairs of jointed legs, and three parts segmented body, and one pair of antenna. Um, the organism with these characteristics are insects. Insects have three pairs of jointed legs, three body parts, which are the head, thorax, and uh, the abdomen. Now, the table shows some characteristics of four different vertebrates. Uh, which vertebrate is a reptile? This should represent S-C-A-L-E. That's a scale. Now, uh, the question is, which is a reptile? Uh, reptiles don't have fins, so I know uh, my A is already wrong. Um, legs. Reptiles have legs outside snake, so... Uh, B is still going. Scale. Reptiles have scale. Hair. They don't have hair. So the answer is B. Now they say the diagram shows a fish 
okay uh, use the key to identify the fish so we're using that Kutumos key here again um, first uh, you, you you look at um, black stripe across the eye yes it does it has a black stripe across across the eye so we come to two black stripe on uh, the caudal fin go to three there's black uh, where's the caudal fin this is the caudal fin and there are black stripes here so we are meant to go to three so at three here they said black spot below the dosal fin so let's see here's the dosal fin yeah black spot below it and that's my answer to the question will be c now 18 which processes in plant cell uses chlorophyll is nutrition chlorophyll is needed for photosynthesis to make food for plant now the diagram shows the external features of an insect now to which group of in to which group does this animal belong uh, external features of an animal sorry I, okay to which group does it belong it belongs to anthropods because these are actually insects so they are anthropods next is which vertebrate group have scaly skin um amphibians no amphibians no mammals no mammals no your answer is the scaly skin is found in fish and reptiles now which characteristic of living organism is described by the following definition the ability to detect changes in the internal and external environment and make appropriate responses those are sensitivity now what is the correct order of anthropod group from those with most legs to those with few west legs now uh, if you see the, one of the major way you can answer this kind of question is identify which has the most leg if you remember the kami um, mariapods have most legs so if you look at this it is only d that start with mariapods so my answer is d from here you can easily know that these other ones are quite wrong now which animal is an annelid um, has legs has legs go to two no annelids don't have legs so has no legs go to three yes has a shell annelids no it's molluscs that have shells so has no shell the annelids don't have shell now which characteristics is shown when a person smell a gas in the air that sensitivity you're sensitive to the aroma or the gas now the diagram shows an animal okay use the key to identify the animal has legs it has no legs obviously it has no legs has no legs go to three we come to three has one muscular foot okay just only one there is doesn't have up to two so my answer is C An organism has dry scales covering its body. To which vertebrate group does it belong? Dry scale covering its body. That's that's D. Reptiles have dry scales. Which characteristics of living organism can involve ingestion, absorption, and assimilation? Ingestion, absorption, and assimilation. Those has to do with human nutrition. So we see. Now, which system is used for naming organism is the binomial or binomial system um, for naming organism dichotomous keys to identify now what is defined as the chemical reaction that breaks down food molecules in cell to release energy that's respiration um, now dichotomous key again the diagram shows a section through a flower okay using the key identify this flower now sepals present um, these are uh, sepals are present these are the sepals uh, so we go to two right um, stamen attached to petals uh, these are stamen the male part of a flower made up of filament um, anta 
and filament makes up the stamen and they are attached to these petals so um, um, stamen are attached to petals so your answer is a now which process produce heat to maintain a person's body temperature is respiration now uh, which shows an organism that has been named using the binomial system uh, bacterium flowering plant HIV this is quite straightforward so you know homo sapiens um, the, this is the genus and this is the species name and the genus always starts with a capital letter now the diagram shows a flowering plant and um, they say we should use the key to identify this flowering plant plant has flower has four petals no Flowers have five petals. You can count it. This is one, this is two, this is three, this is four, this is five. So, flower has five petals. We'll come here. Leaves have smooth edges. The edges of the leaf are not smooth. They are actually rough. So, leaves have jagged edges. So, your answer is D. Now, which process is remove the waste product of metabolism? That's excretion. According to the binomial system, how should human be named? You see, I told you that the capital, uh, the this is the genus and this is the species, and uh, the genus always starts with a capital letter, while the species starts with a small letter. So here, species starts with capital letter, so that's wrong. Species starts with capital letter, here that's wrong. Um, the genus starts with small letter, here that's wrong. The only correct answer is B. Thirty-six. Which leaf comes from a monocotyledonous plant? Um, uh, you know, a monocot plant actually have only parallel veins. They don't have net or branch veins. So, uh, if you look at D, D, all the veins here are quite in, in a straight line. Makes them um, parallel. So, that's the answer. Now, the diagram shows four different animals. They are not drawn to the same scale. Now, which is a vertebrate? Uh, vertebrate are animals with backbone. So, snakes and fishes that's w and z that's your answer is d now they said the diagram shows half of a flower okay so you need to identify this flower using dichotomous key also um so first the, uh, the the following key may be used to identify remember i told you dichotomous is for identification why binomial binomial is for naming petals are separate from sepals uh, you go to two petals are separate from sepals you go to two um, let me see okay you go to two let me come to two because the sepals are actually if you see the sepals are separate from the petals so let me come to two if you come to two they say it has flower with four stamen flower with more than four stamen stamen are the male part of the flower so we have one two three four flower with four stamen flower with four stamens um, plant q flower with more than four stamens go to three Let me see this the stamens here are one two three four so the answer to this question should be flower with four stamens the stamens are four so plant q that's my answer should be b the diagram shows some organism living in water uh, which processes is carried out by all the living organisms shown um living in water plants we carry out uh, which processes is carried out by all living organism okay the, you look at um living organism carries the miscreen so uh, which this is not one this is not one this is not one it's only r that is there so your answer is respiration 
Now the table lists some of the features of three groups of invertebrate, anthropods, annelids, and mollusks, which shows the correct future of each group. Um, this is no longer in the 2022 20, syllabus. Uh, you won't see annelids and mollusks there, but let's just uncite. Um, first, uh, anthropods have segmented body, exoskeleton, and jointed limbs. Annelids have segmented soft body and rarely do they have legs. Mollusks, unsegmented soft body, have internal or external shell. The answer is A. What are characteristics of all organisms? Ejection is not a characteristic. Ejection is not a characteristic. Photosynthesis is not a characteristic of all living organisms. The answer is C excretion and nutrition now the table shows the classification of four vertebrate animal um, there's a which two organisms are most closely related um, let me see if you look at this you for you to know the ones that are closely related you should look at their genus name now if you look at animal one has the same genus as animal three so that means they are more closely related than every other organisms here. And if you look at their family, they are from the same family, the same family, the same order, the same order, the same uh, class, the same phylum. It's only the species that makes them different. So my answer is D. Now, living uh, animals release carbon dioxide. Um, the removal of carbon dioxide is excretion. Now, um, which of these features is used to classify organism as flowering plant? Um, the possibility of them having seeds and fruits. So it's only flowering plant that produces seed and uh, fruit. Now, the diagram shows a leaf. Also, use the key to identify it. A leaf with several small leaflets. Mm -hmm. No, that, 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 that's not correct. There is no leaf, smaller leaflet here. One large blade. Okay, go to three. Three. Leaf with smooth edge. Yeah, the edges are smooth. It's not to the edges. So the answer is C. So uh, with this, we've come to an end to uh, this paper. Uh, we just answered 45 questions. Um, so uh, just watch out for the paper four, um, chapter one, classified, uh, which I'll be posting shortly.